Good afternoon. I'm here at Jennings Environmental Education Center. Jennings is located about three miles south of Slippery Rock Borough in northwest Butler County. Here is the visitor center and inside there's a gift shop and there are interactive displays. Plus Jennings has great programs for children. Jennings Environmental Center is located south of Slippery Rock in northwest Butler County. At 300 acres, Jennings offers five miles of hiking trails. The focal point of Jennings is the 20-acre prairie. The endangered Massasauga rattlesnake makes its home here in the prairie. This snake is very elusive but venomous, so if you see a Massasauga, please stay clear of it. Prairies are rare east of the Mississippi River. Make sure you make it a point to visit the woodland trails while you visit Jennings. These trails meander through forest and wetlands. Activities one can do at Jennings are hiking, wildlife watching, and in the wintertime, cross-country skiing. Otto Jennings discovered this unique area in the early 1920s. Thanks to his conservation efforts, future generations are able to enjoy this rare and unique ecosystem. The visitor center is open, so we're going to take a look inside. But first, I am going to grab a map. And and this shows all the wildflowers. Right now, the prairie is in full bloom. Jennings has picnic tables so you can bring a picnic lunch. Please remember to pick up all of your trash. Okay. And they do have a place to dispose of trash. Okay, we are going to cross Route 528 and head over to the prairie side. So from the parking area, I'm going to follow this trail to Prairie Area and Trails. You want to use caution while crossing Route 528 because people fly along this road. Speed limit's 45, but I've seen people going 60, 70 miles an hour. And this road is not designed for those speeds because there are a lot of hills and curves. Okay. Nobody is coming. Okay. And safely cross. Yesterday on July 30th was celebrate the bloom. And we have that usually once a year year around this time of year because that's whenever the prairie is in full bloom. It can get quite noisy here because it's right by Route 8 and 528. Okay. There is another parking area on the prairie side of Jennings. And there are restrooms on this side. I'm on my way to the prairie.
So the prairie is about 20 acres. And this is a rare prairie because there aren't too many prairies east of the Mississippi River. And it's also home to the Massasauga rattlesnake. This snake isn't endangered, it is venomous, and it only lives on the prairie. So if you see one, do not approach it. According to the sign, beneath your feet lie very poor prairie soils that were created by the glaciers that once covered this area. Only four to six inches of topsoil sits on a layer of clay over 20 feet deep. And we're going to look for the absence of large trees. Most trees cannot live very long in such poor soils. Or stay on the trail. It's important to stay on the trail because you don't want to trample native plants. Okay, I'm going to do the Prairie Loop Trail, and I'm going to do it counterclockwise. So just relax and enjoy the hike. During the second half of July, first couple weeks of August, the prairie is in full bloom. Every spring, they have a prescribed burn here, and that's to get rid of any invasive weeds or plants. This is my favorite view at Jennings. I'm on the lookout for the goats. They are fenced in by an electric fence where they are at. <laughs> 
there are goats beyond the electric fence. So do not touch the fence, you'll get shocked. They're in the process of expanding the prairie, so they have the goats to eat anything that's invasive. As you can tell, it's quite noisy. These purple flowers are the blazing star, star flowers. And they're in bloom late July and early August. All these trails, Sarah Jennings, are connector trails. So you've got Deer Trail and Blazing Star Flower Trail. muggy but this is actually ideal hiking weather because it's cloudy. I prefer it to be cloudy. That way I get better pictures. Remember the sun's shining it casts harsh shadows. There's some golden rods. the prairie and we're heading into the woods. Well, all these trees are hardwood trees. And I am going to do the Oak Woods Trail. The Oak Woods Trail is the longest trail here at Jennings. It's about a mile long and it is a loop. So we're moving right along. And these are all deciduous trees, meaning that they lose their leaves every fall. Jennings does have five miles of hiking trails, and they are hiking only. Most of the trails are relatively easy, with little or no elevation change. Probably the only difficult trail is the Ridge Trail, and that's on the other side. Got some ferns. And Jennings is perfect for small children or those new to hiking. When my kids were smaller, we did take part in some of the educational programs. The rangers are fantastic in explaining nature to children. 
So I highly recommend to try out the programs. And they have them throughout the year. In the winter time, if there's snow on the ground, you can borrow snowshoes and do snowshoeing. That sounds like fun. I have yet to try that, but maybe one day I will. Coming up on some iron ore pits. In the 1800s, clay was extracted from these pits and taken to nearby iron furnaces. I can't find too much on the history of these iron ore pits. Whenever the foliage is down, it's easier to see them. The Oak Woods Trail is limestone gravel, so it makes it a nice easy hike. neat shape on that tree. There are so many cool shapes and patterns in nature. So take your time, enjoy the hike. I always, always just take my time and enjoy my hike and look out for anything unique. No hurry. And here we have a blowdown. Blowdown is whenever a large tree or branch is blocking the hiking trail. I'm just going to maneuver under this. Little difficult maneuvering this blowdown, but I'm just pressing on. And if anybody's in the visitor center, I will let them know that there is a blowdown and they can go ahead and take care of it. I would try to move stuff, but it's just too heavy for me. Okay. Just gonna watch my step. This area right here has a Todd Nature Reserve vibe. Todd Nature Reserve is located in Buffalo Township in the southeast corner of Butler County. It's another beautiful place to visit. This is such a nice relaxing hike. Like I said earlier in my video, this is perfect for small children and those new to hiking. My usual hiking advice is watch out for exposed roots and rocks and always wear proper footwear. As you hike deeper into Jennings, farther away from the highway, it becomes less noisy and more quiet. I highly recommend a visit to Jennings. Here along the trail, there's a nice bench to sit and relax. And one of many footbridges throughout the park.
in the fall when the leaves are changing colors. The foliage here is spectacular. And this little stream looks like it's starting to dry up. It's been a very dry summer and we really need the rain. Yeah, it looks very dry. There's a little bit of an elevation change. Nothing too dramatic. Nothing we can't handle. Okay, I'm going to continue on the Oak Woods Trail. I'm going to make my way down this hill and enter some wetlands. You want to make sure you wear insect repellent because the bugs are horrible here. You'll get eaten up. Just watch your step as you descend down the hill. This is where the beavers build their dam. So sometimes this area is flooded, so the trail is closed. There's another area that looks similar to this at Moraine State Park when you first, probably the first part of the Sunken Garden Trail. It's very swampy like this. These plants are called cattails and they grow where there's a lot of water. They like to grow in wetlands. This plant here is called jewelweed. I can continue on the Oak Woods Trail or hike the Heptica Trail. I'm going to choose the Heptica Trail. And hepticas are flowers. A nice little footbridge. This section's a little bit muddy.
Okay, we are leaving the wetlands and we are going to make a slight ascend. Here is some lush green forest. The Haptica Trail, which is the trail I'm hiking on right now, is rated as, as easiest. And I can tell we are getting close to Route 528 because I hear the traffic. Okay, we are approaching the Glacier Ridge Trail. Glacier Ridge Trail is actually part of the North Country Trail system. The North Country Trail runs from upstate to New York to North Dakota. And the parking area is half a mile away. The Glacier Ridge Trail also runs through Moraine State Park, which borders Jennings. So I'm going to continue on Glacier Ridge. hiking up the Glacier Ridge Trail and you do have to cross Route 528 so it does require a road crossing so just use caution we've got somewhat of an elevation change I do want to point out this area is open to hunting, so if you're hiking this during hunting season, make sure you wear or orange. Excuse me. If you never hiked this section before, you want to go left if you want to go back to the parking area. If you go right, that takes you to Moraine State Park, and it's a long hike to Moraine. about seven seven miles and I actually did this trail during the cherry pie hike in February 2020 beautiful hike but it is strenuous so you want to go left to go back to the parking area and from the blue blazes this is definitely the North Country Trail these blazes are like guide signs because you know how there are guide signs on the highway telling you where to go the blazes are equivalent to guide signs so this blue blaze is telling you to stay left okay, this plant is called a may apple these do produce apples but they're not edible so do not eat them I'm just a little bit winded after climbing up that hill because the dew points are high, it's muggy, there's no breeze, but I just took my time. And along this trail, we will see some huge boulders left over from the last ice age.
right up there is a ridge, hence the name Glacier Ridge. Because this area is where the glacier stopped during the last ice age 10,000 years ago. If you want to learn more about the geology of the area, if you go to the website for McConnell's Mill State Park, click on Trail of Geology, it'll tell you everything you need to know. And I do want to point out it is a PDF file. During the last ice age, there was a huge lake in the Slippery Rock area called Lake Edmund. So we were, we were, we were standing in the prairie area that was all underwater at one time. And Lake Edmund was much larger than present day Lake Arthur. And while we're on the topic of ancient lakes, Lake Watts was where present day Lake Arthur is, but it was about eight miles longer than the present lake. So if you're driving on Route 8 North near Playthings, etc., if you notice how flat it is there, that was underwater during the last ice age. Okay, we're starting to come into a field of boulders. I mean, they're not as big as the ones at McConnell's Mills, but they're still a good size. And along Route 173 going towards Slippery Rock, whenever you slowly descend down the hill where Armco Park is, you may notice that the area is very flat. That was part of Lake Edmund, so that was underwater 100,000 years ago. The Glacier Ridge Trail at Jennings is a little bit rocky, so just watch your step and use caution. And this trail I am on now is the Ridge Trail, and this is the trail that is the more difficult one to park. Most of the other trails are relatively easy. But this one requires a little bit of a climb, and there are rocks that you have to look out for. I'm going to hike through some ferns here. And I will be checking myself for ticks whenever I get home. After hiking, you always want to take a hot, change your clothes and take a hot shower and check for ticks. Okay, I'm gonna do Black Cherry Trail. And right now, I am on the Black Cherry Trail. As we descend down the hill, you will see the stream. There's not too much water flowing in it. 
because it's been really dry this summer. We need a good rainfall. And the Black Cherry Trail is also part of the North Country Trail. Because it has the badge on it. Same with the Old Mill Trail. There's a nice view. After crossing the bridge, you can go left or right. They both, if you go left, it takes you right behind the park office and visitor center. But I'm going to go right because I want to see the other wetlands. And through the brush, I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's a remains of like an old mill. When the foliage is off the trees, it's easier to see. Here's a better view of the old mill. We emerge from the woods and into the wetlands. And there are bird feeders throughout the park. Also, when visiting Jennings, if you have a chance, check out nearby Moraine State Park and McConnell's Mill State Park. Here's an observation deck. And this is, explains the flora and fauna of the wetlands. So you want to take some time and look, uh, look over these whenever you visit. Talks about how they reclaim the land, the early industry. It's definitely worth checking these signs out. The Wood Whisperer Trail leads from the park office to this observation deck. And this is probably one of the most easiest trails to hike in the park. And this is ideal for those who have young kids in strollers. It's flat and it's gravel. And there so many exciting things for small children to see, like the ferns, trees, rocks. And by the way, I'm almost finished with my hike here at Jennings. I'm just going to head back to the visitor center, let them know about the blowdown on the Oak Woods Trail. And then I'm going to head home and take a shower and get something to eat. I do want to point out that in February, early March, these trees are tapped for maple syrup. And fresh maple syrup is available for sale at the park office. It's delicious. It tastes fantastic on pancakes and waffles. And this bridge leads to the park office.